Hello, today we round off Caffey's week of action with a trip to St Johnson. We've got three games left in the season. I think we need to win two of them to get into the top six. I mean, we've not won a game all year, as you all know. In fact, since I've started doing the, the vlogs, we've only won one game in 90 minutes. So here's hoping that changes today. It's a great day for it. Callum's just farted and it's absolutely stinking. So I'm trying to stay as professional as I can here. And we, Callum. What's happening? What do you think today, Callum? Are you feeling confident? No. He's the worst person I could ever have asked that question to. He's the most pessimistic Motherwell fan in the world, though. It's going to be a boring 0 0. Boring 0 0. There you go. Callum set us up for an exciting day out to Perth. Thanks very much for that. Um, what do you think? Is Liam Donnelly's name going to get picked at the tomboy today? As long as it's not fucking Nathan McGinley. <laughs> there you go, that's Callum's verdict on the start now, haven't it? Already. But look, let's see if Callum's right and Nathan McGinley starts. One by a um, One by a hangle. I've never been a person see us win. Callum's just made my day even better. Anyway, let's go to the game. Money out. Johnson and Callum moves out of the door. You get cup holders here for your drinks. And you've got an elevation view, what a view of the game, eh? All, all, all the complainants is a wee bit cold, but nothing that St. Johnson can do about that. Really look forward to the game. And the spring club blows that corner up under the water. The boys are in. I'm in. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, fucking what? Yeah, 
News flash, Motherwell just had a shot and I think we're in about what, no, the 70th minute of the game. This second half, that's it, that's all I get half second half, at least it doesn't have the net either. But my god, we are dying. I don't know how we've not made a change. I honestly don't know how we've not made a change. Mr. Fine, absolutely Mr. Fine. He's still one each. Thanks to Beverly at St Johnston, um, the senior liaison officer for sort of the, the tickets as part of Caffey's week of action this week. And I have to say the facilities at St Johnston are tremendous. You can get easily parked at the stadium. You can, uh, there's cup holders as I showed you for your drink. Uh, the view is elevated which is something that we always, always look for. So these are all bonus points. The only, the only thing that I'm going to score it down for it's because it's cold. No, I know there's no much that St Johnson can do with that as a club. Maybe if it's veggie blankets or stuff, I don't I don't know if that would maybe be a possibility, but I'm I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Uh, it's very nearly a ten, but it's just it was it was freezing today despite the good weather. Uh, so nine out of ten for the view and the facilities. On to the tactics, I'm gonna rate Graham Alexander's tactics because I think it comes into question now. I mean, I thought, I've seen a start, I think it was 6 points of it, out of the last 45 available, or 5 points out of the last 33. Um, either way, whatever way you look at it, it's not good enough. Uh, we only went with 2 in midfield, I think it was evident to anybody with half a football brain, which uh, obviously Graham Alexander doesn't have, because I could see it and everybody else in the stand could see it, that we were getting outnumbered in midfield. He waited to the 77th minute of the match to make a change in a game that we did not look about winning at any point. And then he comes out in his interview and he says, there was only one team that looked about winning it. Aye, St Johnston. It wasn't us. Uh, we've not won our season. We don't look like we're going to win for the rest of the season. So I'm giving his tactics a 1 out of 10. That's how bad that is. Cause I mean, to make one change is just uh, unforgivable. I don't know, what does Callum Slattery need to do to get in the team? What does, what, why did we sign Liam Shaw? Why did we sign Ross Tierney? These guys are just warming the bench when the, when the guys that are on in front of them aren't, they're not doing enough. So what must they be thinking if they can't get into a team that's no one all year? He's evidently got his favourites, um, and his favourites haven't been doing the job. So 1 out of 10 for these tactics, uh, I think it's about time they left to be honest. As for the opposition, St Johnson, I don't think St Johnson was all that good, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the finish at the end is sublime. Uh, so that's going to score them up in itself, uh, that finish. Uh, I'm going to give them a 5 out of 10. I don't, I don't think they did much, I didn't really feel threatened. It was a bit of a boring game, but that was tight for Callum Hendry at the end. And I don't know how many times... Long balls over the top are going to do us this season. It shouldn't be happening, but that's what happens when you get two centre backs that are towing a caravan. Uh, at centre back, you've got no pace at the back, so we get what we ask for again. But no, 5 out of 10 for St Johnson. I do think that they will be safe, uh, whether that be in the playoff. 
I don't think they'll go down via the playoff, and I think it's uh, Dundee that are going to finish bottom of the league. So I St Johnson, I think they'll be all right. Five out of ten. And now for the referee's performance. I think he missed a, a blatant red card for Murray Davidson. I mean, the first one arguably is a red because it's two-footed, and then he doesn't get booked for the second challenge, which was similar. Um, so... He picked up one booking, but he definitely shouldn't have been on the pitch, so I can only give the referee a, a 3 out of 10 for his performance, and that brings a total to 18 out of 40. I'm sorry that this is quite a short and snappy conclusion, I just want to uh, rip this game up, throw it in the bin, and to be honest, I'm glad that we've got the international break coming up, and I don't need to watch Motherwell for a few weeks. I used to enjoy going to watch football and now endure games of football. And that, that tells you all you need to know about Graham Alexander's manager. We haven't won since Boxing Day. The next time we play it will be April and it's not been good enough. And it's not been good enough for a long time. So I think he needs to go. But will we sack him? No, I don't think we will. There's seven games left in the season. I think he's here at the end of the season at least. And it'll depend where we finish on the table, whether he's in a job uh, at the end of the season or not. But it's not looking good and I think you can stick your money on Motherwell being in the bottom six. Thank you again to Beverly St Johnson and thank you to Cathy for allowing us to get involved as a channel in the week of action. Here's hoping that we can continue improving disabled facilities week in, week out and get more recognition on it. And here's hoping that Motherwell can find some sort of football uh, for somewhere because um, since I've started as you know 1-1 in 90 minutes so it's no good but as always I'll catch you in the next one